Hey everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 yet again. Here we are, outside Vault 111. The last episode we explored Vault 111, and out figured out the mystery of the rumor of the vault, our first quest. Uh, as I mentioned last time, the first thing I want to do is go down to Sanctuary and talk to our homeboy Codsworth and see what uh, old dude has to say about us now that we've gone to explore the vault and knowing that we are not the sole survivor. That's going to be interesting, I think. I'm not sure what to expect. Um, this mod that I'm using, Start Me Up, had, you know, a lot of cool things to it. Um, but I'm not sure what's going to happen with Cosworth, so we'll see what happens, I guess. And then after we talk to Cosworth, we're going to explore up that away, past the vault, past Sanctuary, and see what's up there. Because... It doesn't get explored that much, I don't think. At least I'd never explored it that much when I was playing this. Um, who are you? <laughs> Spare parts? You're mistaken. Uh, you're mistaken. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I never imagined our reunion to be quite like this. Um, Please allow me to serve by your side. It's the least I can do. Um, okay, well, that was really quick, but all right. Oh, shut up, dog meat. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I have the unlimited companion framework on, so they're probably both going to come with me. No, no, no. No, no, no. Let's let's not have that happen. Um, dog meat, you're gonna have to go to Red Rocket. Why don't you wait at home, boy? Okay, or I guess you can just wait at Sanctuary Hills. Sure, why not? You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying. Yes. Fun fact, Codsworth is easily one of my favorite companions. My other favorite, definitely Piper, who, once I get to Diamond City, I will probably use instead of Codsworth. But I like Codsworth. Um, he's adorable. If you've never used him as a companion, uh, I would highly suggest it. Codsworth, I'm trying so hard to talk you up here. Do not sass me right now. I can easily throw you away and get dog meat back, but I won't because dog meat drives me nuts. All right, F. F P. Interesting. All right, so I've already explored my house. Um, yeah. So now we have Cosworth. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we're gonna go explore to the north. Um, I'm just gonna hurry up and get back to Vault 111 because I want to go exploring from Vault 111 and then come downwards, like over and downwards, I guess. Isn't that, like, such a cool image? Is that... Is this image, like, a really old one from the games? Like, either from Fallout 3 or before? I always want to say Fallout 3 because it's the first one I played, but I honestly never played the first two. I tried, but I I just... I couldn't do it. The controls were too confusing for me. Um, but I feel like it's definitely from Fallout 3. Sorry, I keep thinking I hear things. My volume is, like, super low. Um... So, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but yeah, okay, so here we are. I am going to go this way first, and then we'll head up that way and see what's up there. Uh, th I'm sure that plenty of people who've played Fallout have explored over here. Uh, it's, it's not anything super exciting, but it is kind of cool because up on this ridge up here... I'll just show you once we get there. Well, it does make me think, like, why is this pathway back here? Because, um, like, pre-war, like, what, what was back here? I don't know, it's just odd to me. So this, I'm stuck on a stump. This right here, if you don't know, is a railroad symbol, and that is a symbol for... Whoa.
think it's Codsworth. <laughs> Sorry, that scared me. <laughs> that is a symbol for ally, I think. So, um, no spoilers, but someone from the railroad was there watching us. If you played Fallout or watched any videos on it, you know who it was. But I'm not going to say because I don't want to. This is my playthrough, so meh. That was a Waluigi noise. I, d <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, okay, over this way, we have a big opening with some power lines. A fence, which I think is the boundary. Oh, maybe not. And then up here is a little raider camp. So let's go kill some raiders real quick. I haven't killed anything in a while. Oh, that was a settler. Oh my god. I thought it was a raider. No, I feel so bad now. Oh, crap. Uh, Alright, well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean to. We can work this out, right? Oh, I realized I forgot to change my headphones. Come back here. Oh shit, I'm about to die. Uh, um... This is what, like my fourth episode or something, and I'm s I still can't figure out how to use these freaking controls. It's not surprising though, I know. Get him, Cosworth. Oh, there's a dog. Sweet. It's not what I wanted to happen, but sweet. Stim pack. I'm still in danger. I'm not sure why. Um, excuse me. I'm pretty, oh, that's why. Oh, no, no. Well, you know what? Uh, yeah, something is afoot. Thank you. Um, oh, interesting. Ah. Uh, we're not going to go over there just yet. Alright. So, forget the raiders. I don't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> We're just going to say forget it and move on. Um, I need to heal my arm. I think I can do that with a stim pack, right? Yeah, there we go. So we're just going to leave the raiders be and go away. All right, let's go see what's up this way. So I have actually explored a lot of this area myself, but I don't remember exactly what is around. Um, ooh, interesting, a little shack. What could be inside? Is it locked? Of course it is. That's all right, I got it. This is my favorite little thing. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, now you know. Okay, well, there was nothing interesting in there. So this was obviously someone's little, like, um, storage shack. There's some drum barrels, which is interesting. Let's see. What's down this way? Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Maybe this fence is the one that you can't go past. Nope, definitely can. Hmm. Doesn't see anything yet. I do remember that a lot of this space back here is just... It's just that. It's space. Um, so we might not find anything too interesting back here, but I wanted to explore it anyway just to see... You cannot go that way. So yeah, we've hit the border. I know, Cosworth. I know. La dee da dee 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 da and dee dee doo. 
It's just interesting to me that Sanctuary Hills ended up there, but there's nothing back here. Like, why is this land not developed? Now, obviously, I know that there's, like, um, forests and plains and stuff, like IRL, that just, there's nothing done with them. It's just wildlife habitat, land and stuff. It just seems weird to me that we're so close to a city and all that. I don't know. Maybe it's not that weird, but I think it is. Um, also, sorry if I just collect this stuff all the time. I know I missed that one, but whatever. I just It's a habit I have. Back whenever Skyrim first came out, I played that game religiously. Like I played Skyrim every waking moment for like literally a week. Like I would wake up, play Skyrim, eat, play some more, sleep, wake up, like just that over and over and over again for a week. And by the end of the week, I felt like crap. <laughs> but I had so much fun. And I'm not going to lie to you. I was obviously a lot younger when I did that. I think that's a big reason of why I was able to do that. But when Fallout 4 came out, that's what I wanted to do with this game, too. And obviously, I was in school. And I had I worked full-time. Um, not full-time, part-time. Uh, but I wanted to do that during my free time uh, when it first came out. I was so excited and then I got Fallout 4. I went to GameStop for the midnight release. I stood in line forever and I finally got it. Uh, I came home, put the disc in, and then it was like, must installed game data. Estimated wait time, three hours. And I was so mad, so mad. Because I just went and bought this game, Fallout 4, that I was waiting on forever and ever and ever and I was so excited. It was midnight. I didn't stay up very late because I was a student and worked. So I was so tired, and it just made me so angry. But I stayed up. I bought the uh, the um, collector's edition. Ooh. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, no, no. Okay, I'll finish my story in a second. We're going to kill these people. We're going to kill this raider and his dog. If I can find where they went. We're going to have to do a sneak attack because I am so bad at combat. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I did it! I killed him! Oh, oh I'm so proud of myself. Ah, ah, uh-oh. Uh-oh, here comes the doggy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Finish him! Uh-oh. Fatality! <gasps> oh my god, it killed me and I haven't saved in, like, hours. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, that dog one-shotted me! Uh. Oh my god, the last time I saved was back before I went to Fault 111, so I've got to redo all of that. Oh my god, oh my god. Well, that's part of survival mode for you, I guess. So you know what? <sighs> I'm going to go do that really quick, and then I'll be back. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm back. I'm about to kill this guy again, but I'm whispering ink so he won't hear me this time. That's how it works, right? One, two, die, 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 die! Not this time. Oh crap, I didn't even kill him this time. I did actually save before coming back here this time, so if I die again, at least I will be um, closer to uh, this area if I have to fight him again. Come on, kill him! Oh god. Oh. Well, hello there. Over here. Just so, sir. Cosworth, how do I make you stop with this? There we go. Bug it off, eh? That won't do. Not at Oh shit. I mean, oh shoot. Come on, 
Come on, come out here. Why is he going that way? Why did the dog also go that way? I dare say I'm slightly disappointed. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Let's see if I can cut him off. Well, kind of, especially since I don't know where you're at. Where? <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even hit the right spots. Alright, get over here, dude. You're going down. Yeah, go Codsworth. Alright, buddy. See, Codsworth's dope. Like, I don't know, I like Codsworth. He's very cool. He's got the skills to kills. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> What's this dude's shack? Oh, that's kind of gross. It's a corpse. Not even, like, settle or anything. Just straight up corpse. I wonder if she... She must have died from an overdose before he showed up because... She had that psycho next to him. Or maybe she was laying down, about to enjoy her some psycho, and then pop! He shows up and kills her. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> not me, obviously. Uh, all right. I think that's that's about it for back here. Um, let's go over to the water, and then we'll follow the water down and back. Ooh, there's dogs. More dogs. <sighs> All right, well, let's let's give it a go, I guess. Yes. Good job, Cosworth. Kill them. Kill them. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, Cosworth. Come on, Cosworth. See, look at that. He's so powerful, like a little powerhouse, a little flying powerhouse. Ugh, so sweet. Thank you, Cosworth. Thank you. What, they were out here around a dresser? Interesting. That's a little random, but alright. Ooh, what's up here? There's a grave. A grave with a dog in it. Huh. Interesting. There's a fridgy here. With nothing around it. Huh, oh, disappointing. Well, I think that's about it for back here. As I've said like 80 times already, there's a skeleton half buried in the ground. And some bloatfly meat, some raider legs and stuff. Uh, armor legs, not just like straight up legs. <laughs> I don't think there's anything up here. Ooh, there's a building over there. Huh, where's that out on the map? Oh, yeah, I know what that building is. Oh, wow. So we're on the back side of the lake, which means if we went around, we would be really close to up here, and that's not a good spot to be. So we're not going to go over there. Um, well, I guess let's cross the river and head back towards Sanctuary, and then uh, we'd be pretty much done exploring back here. So there's not really much um, of interest over here, as you can tell. So that's that's probably why I don't know, you don't hear about this kind of stuff <laughs> very much. Uh although it does make me think it would be kinda cool to do some uh ooh look a little bridge. Some settlement building back here because this is a I don't know, like a place that people don't really go very much. Maybe build a little bridge and then a little settlement. Uh, up there, I was gonna say like just a you know a one a one shack type of dealio, but building a whole cell may be pretty cool. Although I th think that the mod I have actually lets you build back here past uh, sanctuary. I don't know. That's not important. I'm just rambling at this point about stuff, making notes for myself. I guess. Um, ooh, uh, Bugs can kill, bugs can kill. Where's the freaking bug at? <laughs> it was right next to me. Alright. Die. 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 
Uh, uh, this is not good. You're being infected by an illness. Oh no. Well, crap. Let's take some Drugos, too. Um, I have some water. I think medics is what I want. Yeah, medics. Run, bitch. I'm such a baby. Oh my god. But... Oh no! Codsworth! Codsworth! Help me, Codsworth, help me! Man, he's all the way back there by the river. I think I got one. Oh, didn't get one. Why are these so hard to kill? They're bugs! Alright, well... We've got some more running to do, I guess. See? This is what I'm talking about. My aim is so bad, especially with this controller. Or not controller, this keyboard and mouse. Oh, thank you, Cosworth, finally. You can't expect me to do everything. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to leave the good stuff. Um, especially after I just got my butt handed to me by those bugs because you didn't do anything. Hmm. So rude. So rude. Okay, well, now that I'm injured and ill with lethargy, I think, is what it said, uh, I think it's a good spot to end this video. And also, honestly, because my butt is starting to hurt from this chair, because I've recorded all of these videos thus far in the same sitting. <laughs> and I'm not used to sitting at this desk uh, for very long, so... Um, the last thing I think I'm going to do is go ahead and try to build a bed. And I want to show you how much trouble the workshop gives me. Because, to be honest, it is awful. Let's see. No. No. Furniture. Beds. Here we go. I'll do a sleeping bag. It apparently doesn't require anything except a person, and I am a person, so I'll put it in this house so it'll have a roof over it. Let's put it in here. Build as enter. There we go. So I built a bed. That wasn't that bad. Though the only thing is that the menus are so hard to use um, because you have to use the like really random keyboard keys and trying to use the mouse as well. It's like you need three hands. You need three hands to do this. It's such a pain. Um, let's see, can I build a floor? <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to show you this, but, uh, it really honestly is such a pain and I hate doing it. That's why I'm not building anything right now. Who knows, my, by the time that this video goes up, I may have actually already got a new controller and, or got my old one working, who knows. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, hey dude. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, I'm going to take a break. Uh, and next time, I guess what we're going to do is go to Concord, like I just wanted to do beforehand. Um, maybe get the Minutemen out of their little bind that they're in, as always. Do some exploring, and we'll go from there. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my first death <laughs> thus far in this video and everything. And just thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. See ya!